and I just feel like it's allowed me to just connect with other humans in a much deeper and more meaningful way with great regularity and I feel really lucky for that. The flags are something I've always loved, the story of uh, the, the original Tibetan prayer flag and that idea that it would have prayers written on it and as it waved in the wind and as it faded and frayed, it was spreading that message, those prayers, intentions, hopes, dreams out to the world. But then I've taken it and kind of used the inspiration of the Colorado outdoors, of raising my children, of people connecting and celebrating life's milestones. I call my flags gratitude flags. So I, I wanted to shift the, the name a little bit because I got a lot of people asking, well, if I'm not religious, can I hang prayer flags? And I said, well, I think you can do whatever you want to, <laughs> but I love the meaning behind them, but I, I wanted to broaden that definition. And, and for me, gratitude is a really important value and a place that I always try and come from. That's part of what motivates me to keep doing what I do, is I just feel such gratitude for the opportunity, and it's a way to express that gratitude to others by sharing a simple gift that would be meaningful or celebratory of whatever milestone or moment is happening in their world. I start with a drawing, often inspired by the beautiful Colorado outdoors, and translate that onto a block. I work primarily in linoleum or soft rubber. It's just more forgiving for me, and I can get a clean print on the fabrics. And um, I carve the design out of that. It's been a process of sort of thinking in the positive and negative space, and there's definitely been a lot of errors along the way in learning as I've tried different things to create an image the way I want it to be. And, and then I ink it up and I use a series of different presses to put it onto the flags and then some of those images I will also translate into screens and do some screen printing. It's just a way to speed up the process a little bit and uh, also have a little more consistency in the, um, in the prints on the other side. But I love every aspect of the process. I, I love picking the colors and the fabrics and, and, and creating all sorts of different combinations. And I love the block printmaking. Carving is a very meditative part of the, the craft for me. It's a great process. The idea is once you hang them, you don't take them down, that they continue to fade and fray until they have gone back into the earth. And, and so that has definitely dictated some of what I do in, in what I use, cotton fabrics, cotton strings, non-toxic inks in the way that I just want it to be something that will eventually also, if you choose to leave it outdoors, go back into, into the world. And I don't finish the edges. I, I leave them intentionally just raw so that they will do that fading and fraying. I just love that metaphor and, and that look. I don't find too much of it difficult because I just love it. I feel very, really fortunate to have found something I enjoy to do and resonates with others. I think art is at the heart of community and society. It's how we express. I, I'm so grateful that it exists. I think it would be such a plain and sad world <laughs> without all of these things around us. It's taken me a long time to think of myself as an artist, actually. I've always been somebody who liked to make things, but I didn't really think of myself as, as an artist per se. There's such a rich community in this area, and especially in Lafayette, of other artists, and people have been so generous in helping me learn things or answering questions, and I'm generally a very curious person, so I've been really grateful for the opportunity to sort of be in this new space with this new group of people to learn from. 
I always loved attending a lot of the big art events here in Lafayette. I think as a community, they've embraced the arts and grown with that. It just really feels very fortunate to be a part of this community where there's just so much support and openness and love for art and artists. I have the fundamental belief that everybody is creative in some way, but I also think that very early on we decide what we can do and not do for ourselves and sort of get in our own way. And I love being able to provide something that may allow people to tap into that a little bit and, and to try their own hand at things. I have been so incredibly grateful and humbled that this has been able to become a sustainable life for me. Thank you.